Well, hello, folks. This is Bill at Bill Redick Outdoors. I got two brothers. My younger brother is the one that lives off from home, and I wanted to go see him so bad, but I can't drive too good since I had this stroke. So my older brother offered to go down there with me, and we got to spend a couple of days together, all three of us guys, and made a little fishing trip. Here's a little recap. Got a couple of guys to help me out today. Which side you want me on? Make sure I don't fall. Try to set up in front of this tree over here. Throw a little bit of punch bait out and see what might happen. So what you do, you take a paint paddle, stir that stuff up good. And take a treble hook and punch it down in there. It wads up on that treble hook like that and it stays on pretty good. Just chunk it out there and sit and wait. He got the biggest rod on the boat. <laughs> he's, he's expecting to catch the biggest fish, ain't he? Put it behind your head and reel. <laughs> fish on! Bring him to the side over here, Mark. Round behind your back. Do a back bend. <laughs> Mark's hooked up. There he is. A uh, golly whopper. <laughs> you caught a fish? Caught a fish. Caught a fish. And that fish is dark. Yeah. Look how clear that water is. Alright, look at there. Look at there. Total chaos. We can't get them off the hook. Before Mark's done hook up on another one. Oh, I ain't done this in a long time. Here he is <laughs> on the whale rod. <laughs> Y'all ought to see this rod we're using for these little old channel cats. <laughs> but we're getting the job done. Every rod we got now is out of commission. Either no bait or we broke the hook off trying to get them off the hook or something. It's total chaos there for a minute. Oh goodness. Fishing on the rusty cup. Am I am I having fun fishing in the rusty cup? <laughs> Y'all don't know what that is. Rusty's got a big old offshore boat and he's got a little bitty boat. The offshore boat's called the rusty bucket and the little bitty one's called the rusty cup. Our goal was not to have no lonely fish today. Look at that. <laughs> I just need one more. That's all I need. One more. Mark got him one more. $12.95, Walmart special. Yeah. <laughs> and we catch a little bitty fish, either size. But we having fun. I got my one more. <laughs> I got it from Mark after he caught it. <laughs> <laughs> I got my one more on the line. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him in. <laughs> oh, man. You got him, Bill? Yeah, I got him. Kind of funny hooked or something. He's wrapped. He's wrapped around his. Here we go. Whoopee. Told you I'd. Told you I'd get my uh, hand on her. Ah, that's draw pants. <laughs> I got my one more. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a day we've had. It ain't much compared to some folks. But for us, this has been a lot of fun. 
We've caught a few nice little eater-sized catfish. All we gotta do now, somehow or another, get me out of this thing. You let him look. Oh yeah. Now I don't know all there is about bleeding fish. I've seen a few things on YouTube, but I think you should do it when they're fresh caught. And these fish is about dead. We do an experiment. We bled one, and we filleted him out first to see what he looks like. And that turned out pretty clean on that fish we bled. Now, look at the oh, difference. Look at that. Look at the difference when you bleed a fish. And this fish has not been bled. Just look what a mess. I think I'll bleed all of mine from now on. I got a day to go fishing with these two guys right here. They're the best in the world. That's my two brothers. And just remember, folks, whether you're at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. It's Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.